So I think business leaders have got um, a lot more savvy about their supply chains. And if in the past we'd seen a race to offshore activity and offshore to low cost nations, I think that trend is reversing now. And I think there are a few factors behind that. Security of supply is playing quite strongly on people's minds now. And the closer the activity is to home, the, the stronger that security of supply is. It's also important for a quality perspective as well, that you can have a, a, a strong uh, handle on it. It's important to be close to your customer base, so that helps from response times. And I think a little bit of proximity can also help with innovation as well, as you start to get much more collaboration going on with supply chains. The biggest thing for businesses being part of a, an integrated supply chain is just the know-how and the exposure to ideas and leading edge thinking that you can get from that, both from the the startup innovative companies at the entry level of supply chain and then typically from larger more established and international businesses at the top end of supply chains that ideas transfer is probably the biggest prize from the, the cbi's point of view we are an ideas nation so we ought to be well placed to compete with the right uh, support and help from the government in getting the business environment right. We think the government could do more in terms of the incentives it provides for research and development at the commercial end. We need action on things like energy costs to make sure that the UK stands a chance of competing. The area of skills is critically important and here we're thinking particularly around science, technology, engineering and maths skills, the so-called STEM skills. And there in particular we've got a problem with an ageing workforce and we've got a bit of a cliff edge moment if we don't start to see those sort of skills coming through the education system. This is huge for the UK economy overall, we think, in terms of um, securing our objective to rebalance the economy so we have sustainable growth in all parts of the economy and all parts of the country as well. At the CBI, we think this is about having more activity taking place in the UK. So it's not just about finished product or finished manufacture, but it's all of that activity throughout supply chain. And if we do that, we think it can add not just that boost to the economy in financial terms, but add around half a million jobs to the UK as well.